Good morning, Calvary. Uh, Pastor Chad here. We get to continue our study in the book of Proverbs, and today we're in Proverbs chapter 6. And I hope you're having a, a great morning. I hope you're ready for a great week. And uh, I love this study in Proverbs because, as I like to say, Proverbs is a book where a father is teaching his sons how not to be an idiot in life. And, and today's, uh, we're in chapter 6, and uh, there's a lot of great stuff in chapter 6. I'm going to lean into the first few verses because uh, the message is really clear, really simple, really straightforward, and really uncomfortable because Solomon is telling his kids, don't get in debt, and if you're in debt, get out of debt. Here's what he says. My son, if you have put up security for your neighbor, if you've given your pledge for a stranger, if you are snared in the words of your mouth, caught in the words of your mouth, then do this, my son, and save yourself, for you have come into the hand of your neighbor. Go hasten and plead urgently with your neighbor. Give your eyes no sleep and your eyelids no slumber. Save yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the hand of the fowler. Now, um, Solomon is telling his kids, don't get into debt. And if you're in debt, then get out of it as fast as you can. And this resonated with me when, uh, when I read it again, because we just finished uh, this uh, last season in the spring, the, the Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University as a church. We took hundreds of people through that and it made a life changing difference for many of them. So if you're sitting here right now and you're going, oh man, I, financially, I don't know how I'm gonna make it and this is so difficult and what am I gonna do? Then uh, listen to uh, Proverbs where it says, you know, attack this with gazelle intensity, like your life depends on it to get out of debt. Uh, that's part of the message of Financial Peace University. And like I said, we went through this. We had about 800 people go through Financial Peace University. Uh, it was a great help. And, and I know this because as the pandemic hit us and everything shut down and, and the financial realities of where we were uh, hit, we started calling our families at Calvary. In fact, we called all uh, of our families. Over 2,000 families were contacted uh, that were on our roll. So if you're not on a roll, sorry. And we just, we said, hey, how can we pray for you? And how are you doing? And do you need any help? And, and quite honestly, there were some families that I knew, some single moms that uh, are doing a great job, but their, their jobs got interrupted. Uh, some families that are working really hard to get by, but their jobs were interrupted. I thought, they're gonna need help. We're gonna help them, because we've helped hundreds of families in this crisis. Uh, we just do that all the time as a church. It's one of our values. We want to help the community that we live in. We help people make it. Uh, and we've helped hundreds, but uh, there's some families I thought they're going to need help because they don't work now and, and how they're getting by. And you know what they said? They said, you know what? Uh, we're okay. More than one said, we're okay. And the reason is, is because of Financial Peace University, because we paid down our debt. We uh, uh, have been living on a budget. We uh, have an emergency fund. So we're fine. And, and all I could do is praise God because they got it. And, and God had set them free from the snare of debt. And, uh, and this is wisdom. Uh, by the way, uh, if you want to hear more about that, talk to Pastor Joe. I know uh, he was really excited because for the first time in a long, long time, he and his wife Christy have paid off their cars and they don't have any car payments. Uh, and, and God provided and they've been living on a budget and it's been life changing for them as well. So there, there's multiple testimonies of what God can do uh, if you get your life in order. But the wisdom is this. The wisdom that, that Solomon is sharing is this. He says, look, live within your means. We go into debt because we want more than we can afford. And, and he's saying, look, it's wise if you live within your means, not your wants, not what your neighbor has, but what God has provided for you. And, and see, God gives us enough. That, that, that's a theological reality. God gives us enough. And, and so when we go into debt, we're demonstrating our discontentment with what God has given us. So... Uh, you know, live within your means because that's a way to honor God. And then he's saying, look, work hard. Work hard. Uh, you may or not, may not realize this, but uh, in paradise, before there was sin, when it was just Adam and Eve, God assigned them work to care for the garden. They had a job in paradise. Hey, to burst your bubble, when you get to heaven, it's not going to be about a party for you. It's going to be about us serving Jesus. We were created for a purpose to serve God, and that involves work. So contribute to the world that we live in. Contribute to society. Work hard 
uh, and, and work with integrity so that you can represent what a follower of Jesus looks like in this world. So this is wisdom. Live within your means. Work hard with integrity. Pay down your debt so that you are not trapped uh, in an endless cycle of frustration and failure. And you can do it. And if you want more information about how to do that, uh, then uh, call us up at the church. Email us about Financial Peace University. We still have resources and materials. And we're going to be having classes soon as well. So God bless you. And I pray that you can attack your debt with gazelle intensity. God bless.